My name is Lindsay Wallace, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do, welcome back to my channel. Surprise! I am hitting you guys with a Wednesday video, which you guys know I normally post Mondays and Fridays at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I figured, you know, why not? Why not give you guys a surprise video? And in today's surprise video, I'm hitting you guys with another curly hairstyle. I'm doing space buns. Space buns are one of my favorite hairstyles. I don't know why they're just different they're cute and they make you stand out if you want to stand out do some space buns and the reason why is because how often do you see people walking around with giant buns on the top of their head not very often that's why it's my favorite but we're gonna go ahead and get into the style so the first thing we're gonna have to do is of course take down our hair This is what my hair is looking like and in reality I probably can make this last one more day But it's getting really long and it's hot outside So we're just not gonna do that, but I am gonna open this protein shake real quick I just came back in from a two mile. Well, I guess it was a little over two miles I'm hungry is the moral of the story. I don't know why I'm trying to drag the story on. I'm hungry I'm gonna open this protein shake. I'm gonna drink it This thing is so good. I love it I have it in the flavor rich chocolate. So what I'm gonna do now is split my hair down the middle. It doesn't have to be, at least to me, it doesn't have to be a perfect part. I use my nail to make the part. I'll check it a little bit because I don't wanna be out here looking like crazy, but it's not a big deal for me. Y'all like my shirt? It says, immigrants make America great. I like this shirt because if you guys didn't know, I am Nicaraguan and Dominican. Neither of my parents were born here in this country. My dad is from the Dominican Republic and my mom is from Nicaragua. And the reason why I love this shirt so much is because had my parents not come to this country, then I wouldn't have been born here. And had I not been born here, I wouldn't have been able to serve the military. My mom wouldn't have been able to be a nurse and help during COVID like there's a lot of things that wouldn't have been able to happen had my mom not escaped here and speaking of like I said my family's from Nicaragua and I don't know if you guys have heard what's been going on in Nicaragua Venezuela and Cuba basically there's been a bunch of uprisings right now in Cuba they're literally killing the people they're killing the people for protesting for protesting for their rights for like protesting for basic needs like to eat in Nicaragua the president, president I forgot what his name was but basically he used up all of the social security money from the people and from the elderly and I think he like bought his own stuff with it I could be wrong so fact check me like go look it up for yourself but he used up all the social security money for whatever purpose but like personal purposes and the people uprised and they came in for a protest and the government did the same thing that they're doing in Cuba they shot them down and they don't even have the freedom to protest so if you don't know what's going on in Cuba and Nicaragua and Venezuela then you need to you need to get woke okay you need to look it up because these people need our help they really do and it's sad to see that they're not getting it that is why I'm wearing this shirt. That is why I love this shirt. I identify as an Afro-Latina because when you look at me first, you see my color. But after that, I'm Nicaraguan and Dominican all day, baby. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. But as you can see, I have my bun put up on this side. On this side, I don't even know what the part is looking like in the back. It's probably crazy. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> look at it. It's okay. It's not a big deal. I personally don't care. Should I fix it? Okay, I'll fix it. I fixed my part and I'm just gonna put this back up so that it's out of the way now You're gonna take your spray bottle. You're gonna spray like right here. Just just the roots area You don't want to spray all your hair Get your brush a little wet also and you're gonna just brush your hair smooth at the top But don't brush all the way down. I mean, I guess that should be a no-brainer But just in case it's not don't brush all the way down Just you know brush up and remember that your bun is gonna sit high like it's gonna sit close to the front of your head grab some gel I'm using the eco styler gel in the olive oil scent color flavor I don't know what to call that <laughs> I'm just gonna put it right here I'm also gonna put it here and I'm gonna put it in the back and now I'll get a brush again and brush that smooth so now take your scrunchie 
and you're gonna come around a couple times and make sure it's like nice and tight so now I've got a ponytail and I'm just gonna squeeze it I'm just gonna pull it it's not squeezing but I'm pulling to make sure that it's tight but not too tight now I'm grabbing another scrunchie when my hair was shorter I didn't have to do all of this now that it's getting long I actually have to make a bun I used to not have to make a bun it was just some poofs you're gonna halfway pull your hair through and then pull your curls all the way around and then you got one space bun how cute is that <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side Now that I've got both of my space buns put up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my edge control. It's the True Edge. It's a True Edge Controller Extreme Hold Teachy in the scent strawberry. Strawberry! But I am gonna grab some edge control and put it right here on my head. And then I'm going to take my edge control brush and brush my edges. Alrighty y'all, so this is what the finished style is looking like and I'm gonna go ahead and use this scarf to tie up my hair, well, my edges. And unlike most videos, you're gonna get a real get ready with me this video and I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I never do my makeup. I don't have any lashes, so that won't get done. But my lashes tend to be pretty long in general, so it should be all right. Okay, this might be a little weird, but this is how I get my hair to lay right when it's in this style. I feel like so many throwback memories right now. Like, I used to work at the Outback as a waitress. So I would do my makeup anytime working as a waitress because I'm trying to look cute, trying to look pretty. You know why? Because I'm trying to catch these tips, please. And thank you, ma'am. Let me go grab my makeup real quick. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> So my face has already been washed. I'm going to go in first with this Master Prime by Maybelline, but it's just a primer. Next, I'm going in with my Clinique, what is it? Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation plus concealer and my Tarte Shape Tape concealer. I'm using both and I'm mixing them together because it's summer and I've gotten a little dark, but money is tight. So <laughs> I'm making it do what it does, you know, and making it work the best that I can. Oh, I need to do my eyebrows first. Ah! Y'all are really gonna let me go ahead and <laughs> do the rest of my face without doing my eyebrows first? Let me not hold y'all, that was really my fault, but I'm using the Anastasia eyebrow pomade, whatever it's called. I'm just gonna do quick brows. Like this whole makeup routine right here is going to be my quick makeup routine. It's just something to look a little cute, make you feel like a bad Alright, now that I got my eyebrows done, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these concealers together. As you can see, I messed up this eyebrow a little bit, but this eyebrow looks pretty all right. It'll be easy to fix once I actually blend this all out, but I am going in with my Fenty stick. It's in the color Truffle. It's my contour stick. I'm going to contour. As you can see, there's kind of like a faded line right here, and that's the line that I like to follow with my contour. Next, I'm going in with my pre-soaked beauty blender and I'm going to blend everything in. But for my contour, I'm going to use my Sephora angled brush and that's what I'm going to use to blend in at least all the big areas. To blend in the smaller areas, I'm using my L'Amour Precision, Precision Angled SO3 brush, which is this one. And it's also an angled brush, but I'm going to use it for these smaller areas over here. 
I almost forgot so one of the other things that I like to do is spray my face with setting spray which I mean I guess everybody likes to do that but I like to mix it in with my concealer or my foundation depending on the kind of look that I'm going for for the day I do that to make it more long wearing and long lasting Now, I'm going in with my baking powder, my banana powder. Now, I'm using my Clinique All Over Powder, and I'm going to use that to kick off the banana powder off my face. I'm using this big fluffy brush to do that. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the color Bahangyal and I'm using my angled brush to apply that. All right, I got all my bronzer on. I don't know if y'all could tell, but I am sweating like a pig, okay? I sweat on my nose right here. I got that from my mom. Thanks, mom. I don't really appreciate it, but thanks, I guess. Genetics. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia brush palette. It's in the color Peachy Love, and I really like this one because, I don't know, I feel like peach tones just look great on me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face one more time with my setting spray. Now I'm just pressing the spray into my makeup and into my skin. I'm taking some highlighter and I'm going over all of my highlight places. So for me, that is my nose, the tops of my cheeks, my chin, my angel's bow, and the tops and arches of my eyebrows as well as a little bit up here on my forehead. I had a Tom Ford mascara, but I don't know what happened to it. So I'm using my Buxom mascara instead. Alrighty you guys, so I just finished doing my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and change my clothes so that I can give you all the finished look. So I will be right back. All right, friends, so this is a finished look. This is what the top... Oh, let me take this off so I can give you guys a better look. This is what my face is looking like, and let me tell you, it's giving what it's supposed to give. Yes, girl! This is what my face is looking like and what my hair is looking like, and let me just show you my outfit. Alright y'all, so that is it for this video. I've got my makeup done, I got my hair done, and I have a cute outfit on. If you guys made it to the end of this video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell notification to always stay in the know and up to date on all my videos when I post them, as soon as I post them. Make sure to leave a like and leave a comment, say what's up, how are you doing? Remember that we are a community. I want to know how you're doing. I want to make sure that every day you're waking up with the best intentions for your day. You know why? Because you absolutely deserve it. It. I love you guys so much and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!